Hello everyone, so let's get started. MapleStory with the controller. You're gonna have to play, uh, you're gonna have to open Steam on admin mode for it to work with MapleStory, by the way. So, first you're gonna need a controller, obviously. Connect it, and you'll see this button pop up called Controller Layout. We're gonna start from a default template of Steam, which is just a keyboard WS, ASD, and mouse. Now, this layout is actually quite unusable for. MapleStory. We're gonna try to get a preview of this. So if we were to try and move around, I'm gonna move my joystick. It's gonna do some weird janky motions that are completely useless to what we need. So for this first step, we're gonna work on controls. Joysticks, directional pad, remove them all. Then we're going to go to the numpad, up goes to up, left goes to left, down goes to down, right goes to right, and let's see if that works. Perfect. So that, so that works with uh, joystick movement. Now. You might have seen in some of my training videos, I actually move back and forth, left and right, very often in, ter in terms of training rotations, and that can get pretty tiring with the joystick. So I actually like to use my trackpad, this right trackpad, as a form of left and right movement as well, where I just simply move my finger across the trackpad and it will register the direction. This can be done with the second joystick as well. Uh, you just replicate these commands, but for a trackpad, this is how you would do it. So right trackpad, right trackpad, directional pad. You're gonna want to turn off. You're gonna want to turn on four-way overlap. Wait, right, four-way no overlap. Requires a click. I mean, it does not require a click. I don't like the dead zone that is set as the default, so I'm actually gonna lower this a bit to around to around my personal preference, which is around three thousand. And then we're going to add left to left, right to right, and then go back. So now I'm simply just moving my thumb across the trackpad and it's moving left and right. I'm, I'm not moving down or I tried moving down, but it's not registering it because I did not put in that uh, instruction yet. I closed the overlay by accident right there. So that solves the trackpad. Left arrow, left side of the trackpad, right arrow, right side of the trackpad. And that's how you do it as a touchless movement, which is quite good for long sessions where fatigue can be of particular concern. Now let's work on some of the buttons. I like to use A as my jump button. And in that particular sense, we're going to try to make this a multi-screen instructions just so that I can display some of the steps more clearly. So A, space, and for me I have space as a jump key. So if I was to press A and I press it again, we get flash jump. Very simple. Now let's say I want my D key as Let's say I want my uh, B key as rush, which would be my D key on the keyboard. So we're going to want behaviors B, turn into E, I mean turn into D. It's as simple as that. Now I press E, there we go, rush. Now this might... I have to spam my dash key in order for it to occur most or to repeat the action. This is particularly bad in certain scenarios where if we want to just say hold down the rush key on the keyboard it will just repeatedly rush. We want to replicate this behavior on the controller so what we have to do is we have to insert a special command or a special setting to this. So we're gonna go B key settings hold to repeat turbo. The repeat rate can be whatever you want and we're gonna actually turn off interruptible 
So now, if I hold my B key on my controller, it repeats the rush command just like we would do on a keyboard. Then, as for my Y key, I like to use as my up jump, so which would be my R key. Same like same thing like that. X key, I believe I like to use it as shade explosion, which would be my page down key. Simply go to no, simply click on that numpad page down, and there we go. I would recommend you rename these just so that they are clear when you edit them in the future, that that's, just, that's the most basic level of uh, turning Maple's, uh, controller into a MapleStory uh, way of playing. Now there are some more advanced methods of doing these things, and I'm going to swap characters to do that. So for this particular case, I'm going to show with my Thunderbreaker, which has been the source of a lot of the questions which culminate in this video. Across. Okay. Thunderbreaker. So there are two keys here that I want to focus on particularly. My X key, which is my Thunderbolt, and my shift key, which is title dash. So that if I were to do it manually, this would be the ideal scenario. But if you were to do this for literally hours at a time, you break your fingers. So what do we do? So I'm going to make my left trigger actually. My left trigger. Yep, just remove that old command. I'm going to make the full pull a X key, which is my thunderbolt. And then I'm going to add a s another setting, add extra command and make that second command my shift key. Now if we were to do that, if I was to use my left trigger now, there we go. I think I'm getting some stick drift. There we go. Now we just have to keep spamming, right? But that can also be pretty tedious but you're pressing one button and you're executing two different commands now the shift and the x key so what we would have to do is you have to go back to the original command here x and we're going to turn on the setting hold to repeat and apply that to both there we go this is what we're looking for now I'm simply holding down a button, and I am repeating the, the animation cancel done by... It's getting, it's achieving the same result as spamming these two buttons at the same time. Now, the X, it's not particularly isolated to just these two keys. I can swap my X key with, or my shift key with Annihilate. And now, we have the bossing set up. But I'm going to switch back to the title form just for the sake of clarity. Now we're going to combine two different things. I'm actually also going to turn off haptic feedback here uh, just because I don't like it on my controllers. So now we have... I'm holding down the left and right button now. You just simply need to move your joystick or use the trackpad left and right motion. And you can you can do what I do in my training videos, which is just simply move back and forth while just holding down the single button. Now depending on your controller. Now, depending on your controller, there are a certain number of buttons, and you can customize each one of these buttons. For example, on the left trackpad, there's like a D 
D-pad. You can change that to be uh, certain burst skills. So, for example, uh, Lightning Cascade is pretty important for Thunderbreaker mobbing. You can put that in one of these keys, frequently used. This is all customizable. MapleStory has literally 40 plus different classes. They're all going to have a unique set of skills. And each person is going to have to design their own uh, layout that feels right for them. And that's all I have for uh, th that's all I have to show for this uh, controller setup.